Today we're going to be talking about this concept of magnetic attraction and repulsion. And we've talked about one of the properties of a magnet being its ability to either attract, that means to pull on other magnets, or to repel or push away other magnets. And when a magnet retracts, basically all that's happening is it's pulling that other magnet toward itself. And this happens as a result of the magnetic poles. Each magnet has a north pole and a south pole that have to do with the way the electrons in the atoms are lined up. And basically, you know, everybody's heard the expression opposites attract, so that's true with magnets, with electricity, and with a lot of other things. And the north pole of a magnet will pull on the south pole of a magnet. That's just this idea of magnetic attraction. It causes magnets to stick together. When we say repulse, we mean to repel, to push away. And magnets repel each other when light poles are facing each other. So if you put the north and north pole of two magnets together, they won't stick together. They'll actually push the other magnet away. Or same thing if we do the south and south poles, they'll push each other away and they will not stick together because they're repelling one another. You know, we can look at examples of magnets, and anytime you see two magnets, we like to use bar magnets for these illustrations because the poles are often labeled on them and different colored, and it's really easy to see. But anytime the south and south poles of magnets are together, they'll repel. Anytime the north and north poles are together, they'll repel as well. But if we have north and south, regardless of types of magnets, size of magnets, those magnets will want to stick together. And anytime you have a magnet, maybe a block magnet or a disc magnet or something that's not identified as having a north and a south pole. If you have a magnet where you know, okay, this is the north pole of the bar magnet, you can always use that to determine where the north pole and where the south pole is on an unknown magnet due to these ideas of magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion.